Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back in with our giant land ship. As you guys can see right here, it is pretty much done. However, today what we're going to do is do a little bit more detail, try and make it look a little bit better. Um, I need to actually add some sort of little ramp in here so we can get in and out. Uh, and I want to add a little bit more detail around this thing. Uh, I want to also add a few more equipment around as well, because I think that's going to make sense. And I think I'm going to move these guys into the operations room over there. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get on with it, and then get it onto the workshop as soon as possible. And then we can actually move on to our next project. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and grab one of these guys and go over to there and essentially just go ahead and put it on the ground all the way to the other side. There we go. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, it seems like it's worked pretty good and I'm happy with it. Yes. From here, we're going to go ahead and grab this guy, this guy and these guys. We're going to go ahead and cut them. Actually, there we go. Cut them. Move them upwards. Yes. Move them backwards. Oh boy. Here we go into this room. And I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and put them there. I mean, it might seem a bit weird to do this, but yes. Actually, maybe there. That seems to make sense. Uh, knock it over one. There we go. Paste it in. Very nice. Go ahead and merge this guy down with this. And I think that's actually a-okay. Good. I'm then going to go over to this and box this off like that. And I guess I'm just going to go ahead and, I don't know, uh, do this. There we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. In fact, get rid of this guy as well. Go ahead and put one of these guys in. Just like so, and that is awesome. We're going to have to do the same thing on this side though, so let's go ahead and grab this to begin with. Grab all of these guys, go ahead and cut it. Move it upwards to the sky. Yes. Go ahead and push it backwards into here, if we can. And, wait, why is it outside? Hang on a second. That doesn't seem right. Go ahead and put it there, and make sure it is actually at the edge. Which, um, it is. There we go, nice. Go ahead and merge this into position. There we go, lovely. And then fix all of this bit on this side, because it needs fixing. So there we go. Whack that in there. Go ahead and whack this guy onto here. And there we go. Nice. What we're going to do with this area is we're actually going to go ahead and add some battle cannon ammunition. Because at the minute, we don't really have very much. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Um, in order to do it nicely, we're going to go ahead and do this. This. And uh, leave it like that. Okay, perfect. We're then going to do this guy, this guy. And we're going to do this guy... And this guy, and then I think, actually wait, 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 delete all the top ones. I've got an idea. I have a cool idea. We're going to go ahead and do this, all the way to there. We're going to do this, all the way to there, and this, all the way to there. And then essentially, we're going to get feeders for each of these, because we can. So a feeder, go ahead and put it on there like this. Flip it over, do this, there we go, nice, there's one, two, wait, is this the right way around? They're all the wrong way around. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, put these guys on, and then we're gonna have to delete all of these, which is unfortunate. And essentially, just flip them around. There's one, two, and three. There we go, lovely. We're then gonna do the same thing with the bottom end, but first, let's fill all these and make sure they work. Okay, so that's two things actually already out of the way. So we've moved uh, the guys from here, and we've also put extra ammunition in, which is awesome. Uh, then all we need to do is actually have a person stood here if we want to reload the guns. You can then squeeze out of this door, go into there, and reload all of those. And you can do the same thing in this one, and you can do the same thing in these ones as well. Um, it's honestly not as functional as I would want it to be. These guys on the side aren't that good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've mainly built it kind of for show, because, I, I don't know, you'd never really use something like this in the game. Um, but yeah, I think it's actually working out kind of nicely. I do like it. Uh, so, from there, let's go ahead and uh, figure out some other stuff that we can do as well. Let's go ahead and delete these guys and go down. Here we go. We're going to add fire extinguishers literally everywhere. So let's go ahead and delete this guy, this guy, this guy, and put a fire extinguisher there. In fact, let's do it on both sides because, I don't know, it's, it makes sense to. So there's a fire extinguisher right there. Uh, we're also going to add a fire extinguisher... I, I kind of want one on this side, but I don't know where. Uh, I could even put one there. I suppose. So let's go ahead and add another fire extinguisher in the floor on the engine deck, because reasons. So there you go. Uh, so that'll be able to put out those fires. Um, I suppose we can put a fire suppression system in here, but I don't think we necessarily need one. We just could add one if we wanted. I don't know though. Not sure. Anyway, fire extinguisher right there, and we'll also add a fire extinguisher at the back. We're also going to add some welders everywhere, so there's a welder and a welder. 
because I feel like that's kind of necessary for in there. We're going to go ahead and delete these guys on both sides, actually. So there you go, and we're going to replace those with this. Oh, wrong color. It is this one. There we go. Nice. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and continue upstairs if we need one inside of here for whatever reason. Uh, we'll go ahead and have one. Here we go. Excellent. That's going to go in this corner, and we can shove it in there just like this. Um, we also get one in there as well, because we can, and if we go ahead and delete this, we can also put one of these in. There we go. Lovely. Uh, as for fire extinguishers everywhere else, let's go ahead and shove one in here. There we go, and if we need to, we'll add some uh, first aid kits as well. There's one and two. Excellent. Um, actually, just add one. Just add one. There we go. Nice. Go ahead and fix this to here, fix this to here, and there we go. Nice. Okay, the last room to sort of get anything then is this one in here. Let's go ahead and get a fire extinguisher. And we'll actually just whack it onto the wall back there. And we'll also add first aid kits, one and two. And we'll also add uh, some welders as well. Two welders, there we go. Lovely. Okay, so that is pretty much everything in here ready to go. Uh, everything in this side is ready to go too. This gun still works, just a little bit. Um, the driving obviously works as well. The guns on the sides do work, but they're a little bit glitchy, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, this gun on the back works really, really well, and uh, this one works. These guys on the top now work as well, and I'm actually really happy with it. What do I want to do from here? Not sure. Okay, so it is worth mentioning that uh, I haven't really got any vehicles that will fit in here. What I really wanted inside of here was maybe a small jeep, or maybe even- oh. Oh my goodness, okay, that's never happened before. Uh, yeah, I was thinking a small jeep or maybe something like... What the? Uh, or something like motorbikes or something like that would be really, really cool. Um, oh, this hasn't happened before, but now it's happening a lot. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Uh, okay, what we can do is slow down the door a little bit. Uh, wait, that's not the door. That's not how fast the door opens anyway, it's this. So we're going to drop that down to 0.25, or 2.5, that's what it is. Uh, and see if we can make it work now. Here we go. There we go, okay, good. Um, and this is kind of the only vehicle that I really have that fits the aesthetic, and uh, might actually be able to drive in there. However, I don't know if this has a reverse. I think I just put it in reverse. There we go. Okay, and also, I feel like it might be a little bit big for this, but we'll see. Go ahead and close the door, there we go, and see if we can reverse in. Oh boy. Okay, we probably don't fit, but we're gonna try. Yeah, <laughs> we're a little bit too big. Oh, we're a little bit too big in this thing. I tried though. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually cut the roof off of this thing, because I feel like that might actually make it work, so I'm gonna open up the door. It hasn't destroyed everything this time. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and reverse in, and hopefully all will go well. I'm sure it will. I mean, I don't know, but let's go ahead and try. So go ahead and reverse. Here we go. Excellent. Slowly but surely, we are going backwards. Very nice. Uh, the... Oh, it might only just fit. Oh, also, it might not fit still, but we'll see. So here we go. Ram it backwards a little bit further. I mean, it's in. <laughs> it has actually fit a vehicle in here. And um, quite a big one at that, actually. Okay, this is sick. Good, we did it guys, we did it. Okay, turn off the engine, because I don't want it to be, uh, you know, gassing everybody out in here. That's, uh, that's a bad idea, there we go. And we now have a truck inside our vehicle. Who would have thought that would happen? Not me. All right, well, engine's on, let's go ahead and close up the door. That does actually work, excellent. Let's run upstairs and see if we can drive out of here without absolutely annihilating ourselves. So send this up to 0.73 and drive. Okay. I mean, it sounds like it's dying, but it is actually A-OK. -okay. This is fine. Let's go ahead and go off to the side. Here we go. And then we'll let out the vehicle, and we'll see if it's still okay. I think it will be. Okay, let's go ahead and stop right here. I need to add brakes to this thing as well. That's the other option that I need, or the other thing that I really do need. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop right there, run backwards. Go ahead and turn off this engine because it's noisy and annoying. There we go. And let's see if we can actually get out of this. I don't know whether it'll drive out, but let's see. So open up the door. There we go. Get in the seat. Close the door again. Turn the engine on. Take the brake off. Drive forwards. Oh, wait. I'm still in reverse. That could have been really bad. Okay, here we go. Slowly but surely, let's see if it can actually get out of here. Hot diggity dog. 
Guys, it's sort of working. It's just worked. That's amazing. Okay, cool. So now we know it can actually transport vehicles on the inside as well, even as big as this. And honestly, this is bigger than anything I would have put in there. Um, but again, this is the only vehicle I really have that fits the aesthetic. But honestly, it's really cool. It is actually very, very cool. Anyway, I think this will be the end of this series. I'm going to go ahead and upload this to the workshop. Um, it is just at the end of what I want to do with it, which is kind of unfortunate, because um, I feel like we could do a lot more random little details to this to make it a lot better. Uh, but at the same time, it's where I need it to be. I'm never going to use this thing, so I think what we'll do is we'll upload this as is. You guys can obviously modify it to do whatever you want, that's okay. And I think next time, in the next build series, we'll actually work on something that we will use. Because uh, that'll make me actually finish the project completely. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye. Oh, I suppose I should show you guys this as well. I might as well. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah! Look at how cool it is! It's so cool!